There's something you've been doing for years, something you might not have even realized, and it's this something that devs like Capcom and FromSoft have been exploiting to present some of the best combat experiences of any 3D game. It's hard to have a conversation about 3D combat without FromSoft and Capcom sliding into the room to assert themselves as the GOATs. Granted, it's totally fair that they do this because, well, it's true. When it comes to 3D combat, I seriously struggle to find a company that does it better than FromSoft and Capcom. On Capcom's end, we have games like Monster Hunter, a series that has single-handedly crafted a genre all about hunting massive bosses. These bosses present a one-of-a-kind David vs. Goliath feeling, and when you defeat them by whatever means necessary, it's immensely satisfying. In exploiting their weaknesses and using traps and your environment to your advantage, you're able to tip the scales in your favor and defeat these forces of nature. I mean, it's easy to forget just how big these monsters are, but when you, for example, cut off one of their tails, you can stand next to it and see that even a single small piece of them is multiple times your size. Naturally, FromSoft offers its own unique one-of-a-kind experience as well. I'll mostly be talking about Dark Souls and Elden Ring here, cause I still haven't gotten around to Sekiro and Bloodborne. Look, I'm working on it, I'll get to it. Eventually. As for games I've already gotten around to playing, let's talk about what Elden Ring and Dark Souls do to separate themselves from the competition. On a first playthrough of Dark Souls, the game may feel cumbersome, awkward, even clunky, but that's a very deliberate style that really forces you to appreciate the movesets of every single enemy in the game. In most games, enemies are throwaways. They get in your way, you beat them up, and everyone moves on with their lives. But Dark Souls is different. In Dark Souls, I can remember nearly every single enemy in the game because I recall how much trouble they gave me. I remember the feeling that each of these enemies elicited when I first encountered them. The power and terrifying stature of the Hollow Manservant, the overwhelming speed and ferocity of the Starved Hounds, the how sick do you have to be to create a thing like this feeling that you get when you encounter these abominations. You'd never get these feelings if the enemies were weak and easily defeated, which would likely be the case if the combat wasn't as slow and deliberate as it is. And while it's in these ways that these games like Monster Hunter and Dark Souls separate themselves from their competition, they do something that only the best games can. They take advantage of the player's ability to learn and master the systems at play. Now, this isn't something that only FromSoft and Capcom are able to do, but they do execute it in a very specific way that puts them miles ahead of their competition, but more on that later. As for what exactly I mean by taking advantage of learning, let me give you some examples. One of my favorite parts of Monster Hunter is the fact that you have 14 different weapons at your disposal. While in most games, these weapons would simply mean a change in stats or maybe a special attack or two, in Monster Hunter, switching to a new weapon is like switching to a totally different game. When I played 4 Ultimate back in the day, I remember getting pretty bored after about 300 hours of Dual Blades. That is, until I changed my weapon to Switch Axe and felt the exact same thing I did 300 hours prior when I first started the game. This game's unique ability to present that one-of-a-kind feeling of learning and really mastering a weapon 14 different times is what makes it so special to me. On the other side of the coin, you have games like Dark Souls that force you to master the boss. By the time you beat a boss in Dark Souls, you know every single move they can throw at you. All the tricks they might use, all of their tells, and most importantly, all of their weaknesses. It's in this knowledge that you get the unique ability to almost see what they do before they even do it. Through mastery, these games allow you to experience combat not just as another mechanic in the game, but instead a skill that transcends the game, making not just the character stronger, but the player as well. However, skill alone isn't enough. And as I said earlier, plenty of games utilize skill to improve their combat. So what makes games by FromSoft and Capcom different? It's how they utilize this skill. Let me explain. Dark Souls does something extremely unique that may seem insignificant at a glance. It allows you to level up. Now I know what you're thinking. Man, this video has been great so far. I should subscribe to make sure I don't miss future videos. But you're probably also thinking, well, of course... <laughs> you're probably also thinking, well, of course, most games do let you level up, and you'd be right. From Dragon Quest to Witcher 3, leveling up isn't anything new. But the difference is, these games don't give you a choice. If you beat enough enemies in Dragon Quest, you level up. It's as simple as that. The reason for this is because you need to level up to beat the game. If you don't level up, your character won't be strong enough to defeat whatever monster threatens the world. In Dark Souls, however, you're given this choice. You can level up if you want, or if you're totally out of your mind, you can go through the entire game without selecting this option a single time. Because in Dark Souls, 
Your level isn't the only thing that allows you to beat a boss. Your skill is arguably even more important. The game encourages you to utilize your skill by going as far as allowing you to truly push yourself and only level up when you feel it's absolutely necessary. The brilliant part of this is that it's such a small addition that the average player won't even notice it. Monster Hunter does something similar to this as well. When you defeat a monster, it shows you how long it took you to do it. Again, this is seemingly insignificant information, but it's the game effectively telling you how well you did and indirectly challenging you to do even better. Another Capcom game that does this is Devil May Cry with its ranking system. You can play through the game using the most basic, simple strategies and combos possible, but if you truly demonstrate your mastery over the game's mechanics, it rewards you by giving you an S rank. Again, none of these impact the gameplay of a casual player, but they all encourage someone who truly wants to test themselves to do so. Capcom and FromSoft don't simply allow you to master their games, they encourage you to. And it's in these practices that they offer better 3D combat than any other game can. Now speaking of Monster Hunter, you can check out this video on what'll make the upcoming expansion a 10 out of 10. Or you can check out this video on why despite all evidence to the contrary, these games aren't perfect.